How to Build a Park Bench There is no better place to relax and enjoy serenity than a park bench. After that early morning jog or a hard day at the office, imagine how inviting and restful it will be to have a park bench sitting in your backyard amidst the flower beds. Things you will need 8 foot pressure treated 2 by 4 is 5 pieces Drill Saw hand saw with miter box or miter 3 inch wood screws 1 box Clamps optional Sandpaper or sander Square Tape measure Wood filler stain Lacquer Cut the 2 by 4s to the lengths needed. Ensure that you have these sets of lengths, 4 pieces, each 8 inches long 4 pieces, 16 inches long 4 pieces, 15 inches long and 6 pieces, 40 inches long. Set up the legs. Take 2 of the 16 inch pieces and 2 of the 15 inch pieces. Set the two 15 inch pieces along their respective 1 inch wide sides. Keep 16 inches of space between them. Lay a 16 inch piece on its long edge to span the top of the 15 inch pieces. Ensure that the three pieces are flush together. Then join each side by using two 3 inch screws. This will complete the top. Attach the second 16 inch piece, precisely 11 inches down from the top, using two 3 inch screws on both sides. Again ensure that both ends are flush before you do so. This will complete one set of legs of your park bench. Repeat the above sequence for the other set of legs. Fix the top part. Attach the 6 40 inch long pieces side by side which will form the top. The top should be 21 inches wide. In this manner, the top will overhang the legs on both sides by 1 inch. Join the first 40 inch piece to the top of the leg, making sure that the 40 inch piece overhangs the edge of the leg by 1 inch. The leg and the end of the 40 inch piece must be flush together. Now join the other end of the 40 inch piece to the other leg. Then repeat this sequence for the other 5. 40 inch pieces. Miter the 4, 8 inch pieces at a 45 degree angle on both sides. Then turn the bench upside down and join each of the 4 mitered pieces to each of the 4, 15 inch legs. In this way, one mitered end will touch the underside of the top while the other will touch the leg. Turn the bench back to its original position and join the top to the other end of the mitered pieces. Use the wood filler to fill in any visible screw holes. Plane all surfaces with either a sander or sandpaper. Apply a few extra coats of stain on all surfaces because untreated or pressure treated wood doesn't accept stain well. Lacquer all surfaces. Again, you should use at least two coats, while sanding gently in between this process. Tips Warnings Make sure your park bench is set on a flat area. Do not stain or paint your park bench in a poorly ventilated area.